In this video, we will see how to create a template for a simple data structure using the 010 editor. The example that I'm using is called the NTFS standard info attribute. This is a simple data structure. It's around 200 bytes in size. It has a header and a body. I have an example of this data structure posted on my GitHub page. It is available as a gist. So you can use it if you want to follow along. I'll be posting the links in the video description. So to start with, I'm going to just select this data Copy it from my gist, go to 010 editor, click on file, new, and I will select new hex file. Then I'll go to edit, paste from, and select paste from hex text. I have now copied the sample data into 010 editor. Now we will create a template which is able to parse this data into the constituent data structures. To create a template, I'll click on run template. And at the bottom, you can see there is an option to create a new template. I'll click on that and it opens up a floating tab. So this is the template file in which we are going to define the structure of the standard info attribute. As I mentioned earlier, the standard info attribute has an attribute header and attribute body. So the structure of the attribute header is given in this site. So I'm just going to use it as it is. Let me just copy it and uh, paste it in the template and maybe align the fields a little bit. We can see that the standard info attribute has 12 fields. Now these 12 fields need to be mapped to data types which are available as part of the 010 editor template. So this is documented in uh, sweetscape.com. So I'm going to copy this and uh, paste inside the template. So here we have the fields that are required to create the template and we have the list of supported data types, right? So let's start creating 12 fields. So the first one is the attribute type. It's a four byte field, so it's 32 bits. I'm going to declare this as an integer. The next field is the length of the attribute, including header. And the size of this is again four bytes. So I'm going to declare that as an int. The third field is the non-resident flag, which is a one byte field. So I'm going to declare this as a byte and I'm going to be doing this for the rest of the 12 fields. Just to remind you, we are parsing the attribute header here. And uh, the last field is the body of the attribute. Now the length of this is not fixed. But it's a dynamic field and the length of the attribute body is defined here. I'm not going to be declaring the attribute body yet. I'll show you how to do that later when we see how to declare dynamic fields. So now we have 11 fields and we have declared them. And I'll replace the commas with a semicolon. So with that, we have successfully completed the first iteration of our template. So whenever you open an input file and apply this template, the first 32 bits of the input file will be mapped to the attribute type. The next 32 bits will be mapped to the attribute length and so on. Now I'm going to run the template on the file by pressing F5. As you can see, it shows the template results. And you will also notice that it has broken down the file into the data structures that we have defined in the template. So you can see the attribute type the length of the attribute header, the non-resident flag, and all the other fields. With that, we come to the end of this video. In this video, we have seen how you can create a simple template using the 010 editor. In the next video, we will see how to declare dynamic fields. We had a dynamic field in this data structure, which is the body of the attribute, and it would be interesting to understand how that can be mapped into the template. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.